Morning's front page is now the Telegraph dominating the day. They have their new revelations and uh, in particular the bizarre story of the duck and it is a Conservative MP, Sir Peter Vigors, who's claimed just over £1,600 for a floating duck island and this pond that is home in Hampshire and the Conservatives have said he will, as a result of all of this, not to be standing at the next election. Both Bill Wigan and Ruth Kelly, who are pictured there, have denied any wrongdoing at all. Just going through the rest of the day's papers, Cabinet Minister's press ground for radical shake-up of politics, in other words, moving away from just expenses. The Independent, how are my five black males, British Muslims? And uh, Fascist on the Palace Lawn is a reference to a story we've been reporting on on the news channel here, the British National Party leader Nick Griffin saying that he's uh, going as a guest of another BNP member to Buckingham Palace Garden. Sham College's open door to terror suspects, that's in the UK. And finally, the Daily Mirror. Rolls Rage burst into a Tesco shop, apparently after being... Uh, refused to be served inside that Tesco from his Rolls Royce. That's the papers uh, for the morning, or a good idea of them anyway.